Yeah, we did murder. I just jumped out the porch with dirty glove back. Play with that money, boy. I put it right on your head. Had a young nigga going go creep. See you, see ya. We be the cleaner crew left a nigga. All right, so we got the one and only FBG murder jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, bro. The biggest, man. What's up with it, hey? Man, I'm feeling good, bro. How about yourself, man? Good. Yeah, man. Shit. Welcome to Atlanta. Well, I guess you've been here for a few days, though, man. Yeah, a few days. Chilling, cooling, popping it. Yeah. How you like coming down here to work then, man? Shit, I fuck with it. For sure, I fuck with it. You be getting a lot of work done in the studio and like doing promo type stuff or just kind of just been, you know, just chilling? Yeah, both. Studio most, though. Okay. The work come first. Yeah. You locked in with any big producers out here or you kind of just being, uh, you know, just working by yourself? Nah, I just be in yeah, whoever they put me with, you know. Okay. Yeah. And what about artist-wise? You been collaborating with anyone or kind of just uh, recording with yourself then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> me and my boy Von off. Okay. Man, yeah, we, we saw y'all flick it up. His yeah. shit turned too right now, man. Nah, for real. Yeah. Nah, I know that shit gonna be crazy because both of y'all be talking that shit, man. Nah, for real. We out here in the eight, man. For sure, man. All right, man. So you from Dallas? You from Pleasant Grove, right? Yeah. Okay. Dallas T65 to be exact. Okay. So, man, I don't know nothing about Pleasant Grove, man. Can you put me on? Talk about, like, the way of life, the culture there, what be going on, bro? Shit, just like any other hood in Dallas. Not just like any other hood in Dallas. Better than other hoods <laughs> in Dallas, but same shit, you know, just young niggas. Hmm. Now, why you say it's better than any other hood in Dallas, then? Like, yeah. what, what, what's different about it that make it better? Shit, I just feel like, shit, we the hardest, shit. Hmm. No, they gonna feel like they're about they about their hood. But I just that's how I feel. Nah, I feel that, man. And uh, the hoods there, they they label with numbers, right? Not all of it's, it's other shit like South Dallas, East Dallas, okay. West Dallas. Yeah. No. So what, what's your neighborhood called then? Is uh, what six, six five? five? Yeah, okay. six five. So talk about your, like your experience coming up there. Like, what were you into? Were you in the sports or were you just running the streets or what was you doing as a kid? Sports, all uh, sports shit, that, start, that shit stopped in middle school, so hmm. running, you know, stealing cars and shit, and doing the other shit, you know. When would you say you jumped off the porch then? How old were you? 13, for sure. 13, yeah. for sure, all the way off the porch. Huh. <laughs> what would you say, like, were the circumstances that led to you jumping off the porch at 13 then? Shit. Shit, just, what I'm seeing, shit I'm seeing. Yeah. So I ain't want to be in the house. Yeah. And do you got any siblings or are you the only child or? Yeah, I got, I got a brother and a sister. They younger than you or older than you? We're older. Okay. Y'all all grew up together like in the same house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's your relationship like with them? You guys all close and everything? Yeah. Okay. I talk to them every day. Okay. Good show. And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you've gone through in your life so far that you had to overcome? Shit, a lot, shit. No. Nigga had to find a way. Hmm. Uh, nigga had to get shit popping one way or another. Yeah. Man, that nigga hurt. Oh, yeah, definitely lit right now, bro. Yeah. Um, did you finish school? Did you go to college or even think about going to college? Or? Nah, I ain't finished school. School stopped. Like, I went to juvenile. When I got out, I just I ain't gonna go to school. I ain't go to school no more. She was already back behind and shit. I'm gonna fuck that shit. How old were you then? Shit, ninth grade, so I was 18. Oh, shit. What'd you end up going to juvenile for? Uh, some robbers, egg robbers. A couple oh, egg robbers. Some little shit. It was like some shit where they end up putting you on probation till you're 18, or? Nah. I had with the place, but I did like end up doing like 11 months. Oh, shit. But it was just still like a slap on the wrist, though. Yeah. For the charges, so. Shit, so what was that experience like those 11 months being away then? Shit. Yeah, it, probably, it ain't what, what nobody probably think. Yeah, it was cool, really. Yeah. Shit really flew by. Nigga was back thugging, back with my members. <laughs> I dig it, man. <laughs> so how'd you get into rapping? Is this some shit you been doing for a while, or is this something you kind of just fell into recently, or? Shit, I, I be I would write songs in jail and shit, but I wasn't really rapping. My partner, Eric, Eric, Eric G K, he rapped too. 
and he was just in the studio a lot. I just started going with him, rapping, making songs with him, making my own songs. Yeah. And shit. Just smoking my first song made by myself. I just took off. Oh shit. I just kept going. You kind of fell in love with that shit right away, or? Hell nah. Like, I'm in love with that shit now, though. <laughs> like, my, my manager really played a big part in it, though. Hmm. For sure. Who's your manager? Chris. Okay. Uh, yeah. How'd y'all get Shout locked out in? out Chris. Shit, really just, we just clicked. Hmm. Like, he saw shit. your shit popping online, or he reached out, or? Being another person from the label. He reached out first, but then he looped me in with Chris, and then Chris just clicked. Shout out Ben and Chris, though. Okay, yeah. Now, who'd you grow up listening to? Like, who were some of your favorite artists back in the day, or, or even when you first started rapping, I should say? Shit. Who was who? Pooh Shiesty, Dirt. People like that. Pooh Shiesty, Dirt. You know, young boy. I would listen to people like that. Okay, yeah. And so what's the meaning behind the name FBG Murder? Because, you know, I'd be looking at your comments, a lot of people be thinking you're from Chicago until, they, you nah. know, they see your interviews and see that you're from Dallas. Yeah. Mm, FBG Murder, I'm just FBG, free band guy. Okay. <laughs> so no affiliation with the, the guys in Chicago then? Right? Nah. Okay. Ain't got no affiliation with them. Yeah. So uh, Jizzle Smoking, that, that's the first video you dropped? Yeah, that's the first video. When I ain't the first video I dropped, that's the first video I dropped by myself. Okay. Like, just me on it. I got a video of my partner, FBGK. Okay. So when you made that Jizzle Smoking, did you think, like, this shit was going to go up like the way it did? Or were you kind of surprised by it? Or? Nah, because I wasn't even going to drop it. Like, I just posted a trailer. The only reason I posted a trailer because, like, when I make the song, I'm sitting into my partner and, like, they just playing it. Like, I heard them playing it. Like, I'm like, y'all fuck this shit for real? <laughs> Playing and like, man, you playing, nigga, drop the video, nigga, you playing. Shit. It took me forever to shot the, shoot the video. I kept Bush and I finally shot it. Dropped that whole just was going up. Oh, shit. That bitch takes off right away as soon as you drop it then, or did it take a while for it to nah, pick up? Nah, it was, like, when was that? That was probably, like, July. So, I wasn't doing it no more I was doing now, but shit. It was good for like for to be my first video on some shit. Like yeah. I seen what I could do. Like yeah, I seen what I had a chance at. My first video doing that, I knew if I keep dropping, so I can be in peace with my shit. So you say you really started taking that shit serious right then and there once you started seeing the the success of it, or did that come later on? Probably uh after Boogie. Okay. That's my second song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. And then the cameraman retro, like the way it looked, it I just liked it. That shit, yeah. I like yeah. I want to keep shooting video. I'm gonna keep rapping. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, talk about the song for Book Me. Like, what was that studio session like when you recorded that one? Shit, it was just me and my best friend, Kuzo. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> really, some shit that song like, you know, like I'm, I'm seeing the shit, and then I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna take that out. Kuzo, like hell nah, fuck the bitch, leave it on there. <laughs> <laughs> So shout out to Cool. Yeah. Yeah, people saying like you kind of started the, the Dallas drill. How do you feel about that? Shit, I ain't gonna say I'm the one who started it, cause like other people were rapping, but I'm the one who got it popping for sure. Hmm. For sure. I'm the one who got eyes on the Dallas drill scene, for sure. Yeah. Like, I'm causing the attention. Like, it's me, for sure. Yeah, it's got to the point where people like making documentaries about this shit now. Um, you know, they, they doing like a lot of research on this shit, man. The cause of that shit for sure. Like, that shit wasn't going on until <laughs> murder started rapping. That shit clear. Like, come on, man. For real. Yeah. Now, when you start seeing these documentaries popping up, does that kind of make you like, man, let me fall back from this shit? Because they kind of putting too much information out there? Or? Shit. I don't know. Where do, I think they getting that information from fucking, I don't know. Like, that shit fabricated. So, <laughs> shit, they just do them. Get their views. If they get that money, they get that money. That shit ain't true. Yeah. Now, me and you were just talking off camera. I was talking about, like, your ear for beats, man. Like, you be finding the craziest beats. These shit's hard, man. Like, is it a big selection, like, beat selection process that you shit. go through, or? Ain't gonna lie. The first, my, probably, like, my first couple of songs, it was me picking the beats. But after that, like, engineers, they just, I guess they just like my sound. Like, hmm. you know? So... 
it's just some hard ass engineers start sending packs. And I just start fucking with them like Mingus. Yeah. You, you're gonna hear Mingus. We finna slide, you're gonna hear that shit a lot, a lot of my song. Like that okay. one my man when I fuck with bro. You know? He from Dallas, where he from? I really don't even know where he from. That's it. But a lot of my beats been from him. Okay. A couple more people I ain't finna just name them all though. Nah, cause he, even your flow, man, that should be different than what a lot of people be rapping, you know, these days, huh? Yeah. If you listen close, you probably don't listen to them. If you listen close though, you'll hear some people trying to steal my shit. In I mean, Dallas. That, how does that make you feel? So like, man, yeah. I really like, I don't encourage them. It me feel like, yeah, I'm somebody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to be me, so I must be doing something right. Nah, that's true, man. Because you see that shit happen with all the greats. It's like you're always going to see people cloning them, trying to bite their style, you know, mimic them and all that. So it's like, man, keep it up. Yeah. Uh, and talk about that Mika world. That shit went crazy, too. Hey, yeah, that, that was my favorite song for a long time. Hmm. I felt like that was my hardest song for a long time. Like, I shot the hell. I had, like, three more songs to pick from. I, had, I shot that hell, though. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, I fucked with that hell. For sure. Yeah, I saw you shot that at my boy Bubba's uh, studio, too. Yeah, shout out to Bubba. That's my boy. He's a lot of love for my boy. Yeah. That's your love at DGB. For sure, sure. man. Yeah. Uh, talk about that Smackers, man. That shit went crazy, too. <laughs> that hoe right there. Mm -hmm. That hoe just speak for itself, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, sure. what's your creative process like when you write, do you, when you record? Do you write your raps or do you just punch in, you go off the top, or you do both, or? I, I do both. I write, I write more, though, but I do both. But, like, smackers and shit, I wrote that. I write a lot, so. Yeah. So when do you feel like you make your best music, then? It's like when you're pissed off at the world or, you, you know, kind of going through shit. some real shit, or? Really? I don't, I don't know, like. I make the best music, like when I make a song, when I'm steady, like feel like I can go harder, I put some harder on that hoe. Hmm. Take it out, put some harder in it. And I would end up being a hard, one of the hardest songs I got hmm. when I do that shit. But like, I just run, run a song, like yeah, it's hard. But like, I know, I'm knowing I can go harder, but I just like, fuck it, that hard. Hmm. Be all right. Yeah. yeah how, how'd you link up with uh, Rye, Lil Rye? Uh, damn. I want to say through, through Chris and Ben, really, but we really started talking like on our own on some shit. Like okay. We started, we was tasting this shit. And I just fucked with bro. And he got put, gave me some game and shit. And I fuck with him. I still fuck with him right now. Okay. We got some more, we got some more shit coming. Okay. For sure. Yeah, because that first one, that, that shit went crazy, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so at what point did like labels start reaching out to you? Was it like right after uh, you know the first one? Like probably like oh, three weeks to a month after Jesus smoking. Oh shit! But things wouldn't just come with no deals, and they were just saying like, yeah, we like this and <laughs> shit, and then then they start coming <laughs> a lot, a lot of distributions, a lot of real like deals. Just a lot of shit just start coming all at the same time. Yeah. I like oh, this shit for real. Did that kind of motivate you to want to even go harder with this shit, knowing that they was tapping in, that they was watching this shit? Hey, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you ended up signing with Signal, right? Yeah. Okay. So what was it about that situation that seemed, uh, you know, the best fit for you? Shit, I just feel like, man, yeah, they just the best team. Like, they really wanted the best team, for sure. Yeah. I feel like they the best team to me. Yeah. Yeah, they got a hell of a roster over there right now, too, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, talk about that Hazard Lights, because once again, this beat is crazy, man. <laughs> uh, shit. That damn shit. I don't even know. <laughs> did you write that one, or did you just punch in, or? Nah, yeah, I wrote that one for sure. Nah, nah, that hoe was like a, really a punch in. That was off the top. That's why I give, like, I give like a little freestyle bob. Okay. It holds out the top, for sure. Yeah. You know who did that beat? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember. I recorded that song like in like my earliest stage. Oh, for real? I'm still in my early stage, but like my earlier, earlier stage. Like. Just some shit you held on to then, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
And what about the newest one, that Delta ass? That shit going crazy. Right <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that. <laughs> that hoe going crazy too. Yeah. Got a lot of shit on the way that's even. My tape so fucking hard. <laughs> that shit on the way though. Hmm. You know, fans been waiting for that tape, man. I know they probably sure. be hitting you up in the comments about this shit all the time. I'm sure I need that bitch on the charts. <laughs> for what number? Long that bitch on the alpha chart. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be called murder music. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Gonna be murder music. Shit on the way. So what type of vibes should we expect? Is it all gonna be all drilled out, or you kind of plan to switch it up on there too? <laughs> it's gonna be some shit. I got y'all. To... <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned. Some shit on there. Yeah. You feel like people trying to just box you into that drill shit at this point, or? Shit, I mean, they can't, like, I know that's what they want, though, because that's how I gave them, but I'm going to show them some shit. OK. But for now, I'm just giving them what they want. Yeah, that what I, that's what I'm popping it with, so I'm just going to keep popping it like that. Yeah. Nah, the shit definitely working for you right now. Yeah. So yeah, keep giving them what they want, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah. Do uh, you plan to put any features on there that you can reveal? Hey, it's gonna be some features on there. Shit, a few on there, a few good ones. Can you give us one? Uh, I gave I one. Von? Yeah, Von. Okay. Uh, that's my boy. I'll take that. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. do you know what the next single, next video is gonna be? You got something already shot, tucked away? Oh shit. Um, I really don't need to know. Okay. I don't know. You kind of just let the team decide like which ones to go for? Or do you, you kind of hands on with that process though? Like I'm hands on for sure. Like, yeah, you know, like I'm, I'm the one who's going to pick what video to drop and shit, but like, I don't know which one I want to drop. It's a good problem to have if you got too many good songs, you yeah. know? Yeah. That would be the problem. Like, like, damn, this whole hard, this whole hard. <laughs> yeah. So how you liking this rap shit, man? You only less than a year into it, really, you know? Shit, this shit, I fuck with it, like, I fuck with it. The fans, the money, all of it. Shit, just a good opportunity on some shit. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like your life's changed since you, uh, you really started rapping, taking this shit serious then? Shit, I won't say ch change, but upgrade for sure. Hmm. Not change, it ain't changed yet, but it, it, it upgraded for sure, for sure. Okay. And do you feel it like your- upgrade. <laughs> now, do you feel like your mindset's changed since you've been becoming more successful then? Hey, yeah. My mindset changed for sure. Yeah. In what ways would you say? She just, where my focus at, that's how. Yeah. Now, you know, with, with the love comes a lot of hate, man. How do you be dealing with like uh, the online trolls and the haters in the comments and shit? shit. Do you pay them attention? Do you not respond or? Man, we laugh at this shit like, oh God, like we read this shit, we're like, well, they act funny, like. That <laughs> shit just funny. Yeah. But man, hey, you ain't doing shit. Nah, it's very true. I just laugh that shit out, keep going. <laughs> now, is there any big artist you want to work with in the future? Yeah, yeah. Shit, Poo Shiesty. Free him, man. Yeah, yeah, free Shiesty. Yeah, I even think you and YB would cook up some crazy shit, too. Yeah, hey, yeah, shit. There's a lot of people I'd probably have a crazy song with. Dirt, who else? Yeah. Shit, who else? Now, what's some of your goals for your rap career then, man? Whether it's short term, like say the next year, or even long term, three, five years down the road? Shit, long term, I gotta get that, that M. <laughs> for sure. But shit, for right now, shit. I'm going on tour, my first tour. Okay. For sure. You been doing any performances uh, in Dallas or anywhere else? Yeah, I've been doing a little performances. The local shit, and I ain't had no major performance yet though, but this year for sure. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, gotta get out there and let the people see you, man. Yeah, yeah. So when that fly pop, yeah, I just pop out. <laughs> Don't really move. I feel it, man. Uh, anything else you're working on right now that you can review? Shit, really shit. Just be, been fucking around the studio. Mm. Yep. Just trying shit out. It's always something to do, shit. And what's some advice you would share to some new artists trying to get their foot in the door like you was a year ago? Shit, just find your flow, your flow, and just keep going. That shit pop, that shit pop. Yeah. If it don't pop off the real, but you feel like you hard, shit, keep going to the pop, shit. No. I dig it. And what do your fans mean to you? Shit, without them, man, ain't no me. So shit, you know, the fans, everything, the fans and the music. At the end of the day, for sure. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and plug your social media so everyone know where to follow you at, man, in case they ain't following you already. It's FBG Murder everywhere, all platforms, FBG Murder. They're like, the FBG Murder, the biggest. Yeah. And you got a shout out you want to give before we wrap it up? And shit, my little brother just dropped a two, three tray. Mm. Oh, fuck with it. Play with that money, boy. I put it right on your head. Had them young niggas going go creep. See you, see ya. We be the cleaner crew. Left a nigga stank up in the east. This man and shit eat.